<laughs> you come down here to do an album, you've always got that in your mind. That you come down to do the album and get it as best as you can. So, if a person takes, you know, four days to put the tracks down, it's four days. You know, there's no mm. pressure on anyone really to get it within two or three. It yeah. takes a week. It takes a week, but it has to be right, and the person knows that that they have to put the tracks down as I wrote and as tight as possible. So there's, no point takes, there's no point pushing people, is there? Otherwise, you know, it, just, it doesn't get you it doesn't anywhere. Get you really. So you have more pressure on them. Just leave you, leave you to it. And it comes out, isn't it? You know, eventually. And everyone knows within it's themselves good. that they have got a bit of pressure on them. Yeah. It doesn't need anyone else to tell them that. Yeah. Who's urging yourself, really? We've always gone away from the place, to all the LPs, really, haven't we? Yeah. Try but, to you know, find somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we went, first one is we went to Loco, then we went to Driffield, and then we've come here. I mean, the only one we've really done in a city is where we did the drums for this LP. Mm. Yeah, and that was yeah. just purely for the uh, actual drum booth, the live yeah, room sounded really sound, good. Yeah, so. Nothing else would have sounded good in there. <laughs> the guitars <laughs> no, and other than yeah. that, but the drums. It was good. It was good atmosphere. It was good. obviously without the vocals on and the bass on and that as well because it's just really sort of rhythm and, and drums but uh, it's gone pretty well this, this LP is going to be like the most sort of um, in your face stuff really isn't it it's sort of like a lot of, a lot of the LPs that we've done before have been slightly slower than what we're actually playing them live but um, this one you know it's it's in your face and it's going to be I think it's going to be like the most powerful one that we've, we've made you know you know, best songs, I think, as well. Fourth Crusade was pretty clean, the production on it, mm. for our sort of style of music or our band, but we're sort of looking slightly more aggressively this time. A definite advancement in, the, in the, the songs, the structure of the songs. We've spent longer working them out. Um, Baz has, has been like, yeah, messing with his you know, own studio he's got home and uh, been working it all out over a period of some time. So the structure of the songs are a lot stronger. The riffs in there are just really catchy and anyone can really get into them. So I think it's going to come out really strong. You know, I've got my own idea of how the, the lyrics are going to come out, and I'm sure it's, when it's all put together, it's going to come out really well. I mean, the whole album was wrote before. I mean, it was actually wrote once before, and we completely scrapped it and took the best bits out and used them for some better riffs that we made up later along the line. We had to sacrifice to the songs and took the best bits out and uh, put together what we thought were the, the ten most powerful songs. <laughs> You've got to progress, but you can't progress too far as to lose, you lose where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, I've seen so, so many of my favourite bands just completely lose it and go off on this weird concept sort of stuff. And, yeah. you know, they've lost what I initially liked them for. So we try and keep that within the vault of our frame, you know, that we never well, forget yeah, where yeah. we come from and where we're going. Those essential mm -hmm. ingredients are always going to be there. It's like putting like curry powder yeah. into a blancmange or something like that, it? You know, it's kind of like, it just wouldn't fit if you tried to put something else in there, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be right. So, uh, but of course, you know, every album we do do is we're growing and getting better at what we're doing and um, you know, developing our kind of skills and, and you know, as musicians. And um, you know, it is developing and becoming a song of deep progression. <laughs> Well, it's progression that they've made, but it's still keeping the essential ingredients of Bolt Thor in there, really, you know, the heavy sound. I think it's a, the most catchy bunch of riffs they've put together, because we've only got the riffs and the drums on, on tape at the moment, and um, it's going to be a really good album. Well, I don't think we'd ever write <laughs> anything we weren't happy with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in playing something you don't really like yourself, yeah. so you've got to go for that first and foremost. 
get something you're happy with yourself and hopefully it's marketable to yeah. the, no, that, that the group down, that you're, you're playing to. It goes down to the basic, even the basic songwriting structure when it comes down to writing songs we all sit down and uh, you know, Baz comes out with the majority of the riffs and we sit there and we say yeah that's a great, that's a great riff or, or no that's not so good. You know, and then you build the songs around that kind and of... Drop off. You know, so you got, you know, you've got nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice like um, you know five or in, in way input because it's pretty much you know the same with the lyrics. And me and say Gav will go through them and, and he'll, he'll come up with a few ideas that I may not have thought of, you know, or, or, or have an idea about them which you know, it would put me off them as well. So um, it's all, a, you know, ongoing. Everyone's got their own input into the construction of the actual music and the songs. And it's for us. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't think songs or, or lyrics should be about putting forward too many specifics. I think, you know, people should be allowed to use their brain a bit and uh, come up with their own ideas. I mean, that, that's the essential, the essential beauty of, of words and language. hopefully progress from the stage we are now without having to search for it again. Yeah, so yeah. that's first on the agenda. And we we're we're going to... far too long between the last LP yeah, and this LP. We needed something yeah. in between, even if it was just like a short EP or something. Um, the impetus of where we were, we were building just kind of fell off, you know, after six or eight months. So we, we needed something out there. So we don't intend that to happen again. We're intending to release a 12-inch as well. It's a preview to film and around September time. Like yeah, with a a re-recorded version of World Eater, which seems to be a lot of fault for fans' favourite songs. You know, so we recorded it more 1994 style, as we yeah. really would sort of want to play it live now. You know, change the blast beat for a more of a mid-pace yeah. mid sort of... Well, you, you can grab hold of it now without thinking, well, what's going on here? You, know, you can actually hear what's going on yeah. this time. Slowed it down a little bit. Because, yeah, I mean... Made it more accessible. I yeah. think, Definitely. but the killer rest is still in it. People sort of know in Europe we sort of go out in January time. I mean, yeah. that's, our, that's our fate. <laughs> 